up everyone, it's Jonathan with Bay Area Throwbacks. I'm back with another uh, throwback jersey. Today I got a Mitchell and Ness 1994 Deion Sanders Road jersey. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think I even need to get too much into Deion Sanders' career. You know, everyone kind of, for the most part, if you're a football fan, you know about Deion Sanders. Uh, considered one of the best cornerbacks of all time. Uh, only played one year with the Niners, but that one year was huge because... That was the Niners, the Niners' last Super Bowl that they won, 94. Um, it was kind of in the offseason. Uh, you know, the Niners knew that they needed someone like Dion to, you know, get them over that hump to win the Super Bowl. Dion knew if he went to the Niners, he'd probably get that ring. So it was kind of a good trade off. You know, it took him for a year. He got his ring. The Niners, as a, as a team, got their championship. And that's big. So, like I said, Dion Sanders. Also, I feel like a lot of people. Don't really remember, but he did play in the major leagues too. He uh, two played in both pro leagues. More known for football, Bo Jackson is more kind of he's known really for both. But Deion Sanders is really is uh, a lot more known for football. But he did play in the major leagues a good amount of uh, time. Decent player. Um, even uh, played for the Giants for part of 1995 San Francisco Giants. So the year his 94 season, he's with the Niners, wins the Super Bowl calendar wise in 1995 with the Niners, and then that year, later on that year, he ends up playing for the San Francisco Giants for a little bit. So, technically played for both Giants and 49ers in the 2000, I don't know, 2000, 1995 calendar year. Not season, but calendar year, if you know what I mean. Like I said, because the football playoffs go on to the next year calendar-wise. Anyways, something special about this jersey is it's actually a, a limited edition. Mitchell Ness, this is an old run, a career run. From, um, I've done a little bit of research about it, and what I found was that um, back in early to mid 2000s, they did. Uh, from what I've read, could be wrong. If anyone knows better, correct me. But from what I've seen, it said that uh, it was one of the first runs that they did outside of the USA, where um, they made this at that time a limited edition um, jersey, just where they just did one run of these jerseys of these Deion Sanders 94 jerseys. And then um, they have brought them back within the last, I don't know, six, seven years. Um, but I will tell you this one here um, is a lot more real to the actual 94 jersey opposed to the one they put out the last, you know, couple of years, the newer run of it. It's uh, just to say it just didn't do the, as great of a job as they did uh, with these ones back in. Um, I think, like I said, they don't have the inside tag like the, the Mitchell Ness now that tell you the year. So I don't know if anyone who knows about the older Mitchell Ness can tell me, but I do see this. So I don't know if if that means it's 2006. Because like I said, I know of these being made in, in 405 for sure from what I know. But I think 06, I'm guessing. I don't know. But anyways, like I said, uh, this is an older Mitchell Ness when they actually were, you know, <laughs> we're known to have done a better job at back then of really making sure that the jerseys were, you know, close to what was worn on the field opposed to nowadays where they've, unfortunately, with a lot of jerseys kind of fell off. But anyways, that's enough about that. Let's just get into the jersey. All right, so we're going to start down here. we got our Mitchell and Ness NFL throwbacks, authentic jock tag with Sandy Ball on it. <clears throat> and then here we got the Deion Sanders jock tag sewn in. Um, now Deion Sanders, 1994, San Francisco 49ers. Like I said, this was a limited edition at the time. So that's why it has that right there. Uh, like I said, on the inside, you have not, you don't have the tagging like you have now that tells you the year. Uh, you can't see the stitching though, so that's nice. But yeah, so we got that. 100% um, polyester. You got your nice mesh. Okay. We come up to the lettering. We got that double stitched red with the black shadow, double stitched. And for a lot of you, who, those of you who don't know that, this wasn't an original 1994 style. This was a kind of commemorating the 1955 49ers jerseys, uh, the style they had. If you saw my Joe Perry jersey, it's the same style. Uh, it's just the red one. And that was the original um, time that they wore these jerseys with this style at least with that black shadow. 
come up here we got that nice 75 uh, nfl anniversary patch one of the probably one of the nicest patches in that i've uh, seen with sports just an overall like league patch <coughs> the Niners actually got their 75 year for the team patch this year that uh you know Niners are celebrating their 75th year whereas at this time in 94 it was the 75th year of the nfl so every team had one of these patches the diamond patch which i love a lot come to the net <clears throat> There is no NFL logo, and I trust me, I made sure to look at pictures and look it up, and there is pictures of Deion Sanders at that uh, from that year in these white road jerseys with the shadow with no NFL um, patch here, no NFL shield here. If I would not have found pictures of that, I would not have bought this, but since I did see pictures of this jersey with Deion Sanders wearing it without that, I had no problem picking this one up. So you got that. You just got the white. The white little, uh, what do you call it? The collar, the rib collar. Over here on the side, you got the three red stripes, which are mesh as they should be. The newer ones, I had a red version of this jersey uh, maybe like seven, eight years ago. Oh, so earlier when I said that they were making them five, six, that lets me know right there because I had it back in like 2013. So we're talking about almost eight years ago. But when those, the ones you see nowadays on the site, they... It's a solid red. It's like a, it, all the, the lines are solid. <clears throat> and they, um, it almost feels like a separate like sticker that was put on top. Whereas these almost blend in with, it feels like they blend in with almost, uh, with the, with the white and that they were just made red. So this is how they should be. If you look at pictures from back then, game use pictures, game use jerseys or pictures from back then, the striping or the lines were mesh. This is, so this is how it should be, not that solid. And then here we got the elastic sleeves. It's really light. It's not super uh, tight elastic, but got that there. Which is when I looked at the pictures and the game these jerseys, this is how, at least for Deion Sanders, how it looked like he had them. Then on the side here, we got the... Um, we got going down from here under the armpit. Let me hold this jersey up. All the way down to the bottom, we got the spandex side. So you got it from the armpit all the way from the, uh, what do you call it? The end right here, all the way down to the bottom. And if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, this is, I guess, called the hem is what I'm realizing. I've been calling it just the slit or the <laughs> uh, the cut. I forgot what I've been calling it, but hey, correct me if I'm wrong or let me know if, if this is the correct name. This is, I guess, called the hem. Like I said, let me know in the comments, please. That would be nice to actually know what you call this part. But yeah, so the spandex goes all the way down. So you got that on the side. Come over here. <clears throat> you got that single stitched. Sanders. You got your nameplate here. The nameplate is sewn on, but the, these are almost seem even after the uh, sewing. Here and here almost feel even, which is nice. So it's not like a super fat um, or thick nameplate. So you got that right there. And then just like the front, we got our 21 red with the black shadow. Just like the front. Double stitched. Pretty much it. Like I said, you got the mesh. Yeah, a really nice jersey at 94. Oh, I forgot to show the tag real quick. The same, got that same nice nostalgia company, Mitchell Ness Philadelphia tag. Pretty sure it's the same one they're still using. This tag, though, I feel like it's a little different. We've got the size 44, 100% polyester shell, 100% polyester spandex insert. Um, made in Korea. So from what I saw, these were, uh, if the what I looked up online wasn't wrong, um, this is when they first started making them outside of the USA. So it was Korea right here. And then we got this on the back. 
And if anyone knows more information about this, I would love to know that. Um, since there wasn't a tag on the inside with the year, I'm guessing this might be the year, 06. I don't know if I'm wrong, maybe quarter one, uh, maybe March of 2006. So if that is the case, um, which is what I'm assuming, this was about a 15-year-old jersey. Um, but if anyone knows, let me know. I'd love to know. Anyone who knows more about the older Mitchell and Ness styles or Mitchell and Ness runs, I'd love to know This is uh, if that's telling me the year it was made. Because like I said, the other ones I saw of this, people were saying it was made in 04 and 05. Uh, but they didn't say it was only made in 04 and 05. So 06 would be on track with those ones. So like I said, if anyone knows uh, more about this part right here, please let me know. All right, this is how the jersey fits. It's a 44. It fits pretty much perfectly on me. A um, couple things. Like I said, this is probably... This is my favorite Niners jersey. It's definitely up. I love this jersey. Um, but a couple things, like I said, when I saw this jersey on eBay and it was the... Um, I noticed that it had the correct mesh here and that the 21... Because something else I've noticed about the newer runs of these jerseys within the last like 10 years... The, the diamond, the one I used to have, was literally directly above the one. That's not how it was. Look at the old pictures. Look at Dion or any player who had two numbers. It was off to the side. So, like I said, back then, I don't know if what it was. Mitchell Ness was less lazy with it. Yeah, but like I said, I don't know if it's just Mitchell Ness was less lazy back then. or they're doing. I don't know what it was, but like I said, the new ones, the newer ones are just kind of made to offer me to want to buy, with at least with these specific jerseys. But, like I said, when I saw it on eBay, that it was actually made more correctly. I had to look into it, and I noticed it said limited edition on the tag here. And then that's when I did my research and realized that this was an older run. Like I said, everyone, if you know a lot about, you know, jerseys or the Mitchell Ness, a lot of people real have, you know, stated how they used to make them a lot more true to how they should be than nowadays, unfortunately. Anyways, though, that's that. Like I said, here's my Deion Sanders, Mitchell and Ness. Um, older career run 1994 authentic road jersey so anyways thanks for watching if you already subscribed uh thank you for being here again if you're not subscribed please subscribe if you like the content if you like the video please give me a like uh, that's about it so everyone have a good day and i'll see you guys next time peace